It smells great, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just get Glenn to cancel everything else. But come over some. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it was just a rundown old uh, Germanic farm. Um, a lot of it was uh, dilapidated and in a poor state of repair, with no power or uh, water in a lot of the buildings. Only one building actually had running water and, and electricity. And uh, but. Before that, in the late 1830s, uh, a guy called Samuel Nitschke came out from Hamburg. He's one of the uh, persecuted uh, German Lutherans that came out from Europe, uh, like refugees pretty much, early boat people kind of thing. <laughs> um, but they came out on a ship called the Zebra in the late 1830s. And he came out with, uh, this guy Samuel Nitschke came out with his wife and he had 11 children, but he had seven, seven of them on board with him. And he had, um, I've been reading some of the ship captain's diaries, and he wrote about these people on the boat they used to bring out. It was really quite interesting. But anyway, um, one of his daughters, Eleanor Nitschke, who was only 13 when she came out, a number of years later, um, married Johann Grant. And Johann Grant settled in that little cottage across the creek there. <coughs> and he went on to, found, uh, to be the founder of Orlando, and, and uh, now what you know as Jacob's Creek, the wine brand that goes all over the world. Um, so he had his in-laws over here, Samuel Nitschke and his wife Elizabeth, and that was back in the late 1830s. So that was sort of some of South Australia's earliest um, history, because it was settled um, only in about 1836. So I think uh, the zebra actually came out in 36 as well. So they came out around that period. And they came and settled on this property and, and uh, you can sort of understand why, because it's got a pretty little area of, uh, of creek. And uh, they farmed, um, uh, Johan Graham originally was a baker, came out as a baker, and uh, in 1847 he decided to plant vines with the, the families got together and they planted a vineyard, and this area has the oldest vineyards in the Barossa. Planted in 1847 and then they made um, their wines from, from then onwards. So it's a real early little pocket of the, of the valley. But uh, Mururu Park Vineyards, Mururu is an Aboriginal name, it means where two rivers meet. And um, it was the original name that they named the area after this name Mururu. And uh, uh, yeah, Aboriginal name. And uh, the two rivers of you know, Jacobs Creek basically and North Parra, where it joins up with the North Parra a bit further down the creek. And so after, um, in the about 2000 we re-registered the Maroon Park Minyard's name and we make all of our wine now under that label and Jacobs Creek Retreat is now the, uh, the accommodation of the guest experience at Maroon Park. So we refer to it as Jacobs Creek Retreat at Maroon Park um, as far as our official name goes. Um, and at, we've got a very exciting development application in at the moment and just at this end of the property right down on the edge of the creek we're building uh, four uh, luxury um, treehouse villas, guest villas on stilts, um, not right up in the trees, but elevated, and uh, just with glass and beautiful rooms for, for couples. So they'll be right on the on the banks of the creek, um, with a uh, like a boardwalk that will take you out to the to those villas, and then along the creek you're able to walk as well. So that's in the pipeline. Yeah. And you might have, probably might have walked past the uh, pool that's being built at the moment, so this summer we'll be, have a full operational uh, retreat pool, so that'll be pretty good as well. We'll see me regularly on the weekends. <laughs> 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 it'll be great, yeah, I can't wait to see it. It's only just been poured, so over the next couple of months it'll all be finished, ready for summer. It's going to have one of those uh, infinity edges, you know, the yep. vanishing mm -hmm. edge and you know, all those kind of little things. And at one end of the pool, it's got some two little, they're only 30 centimetre deep water, 
and the spa jets in there, and you can just lay basically in there, read a book. Uh, Almost the size of the king's off bed. Have some wine. Yeah, make some wine. So, uh, and, and at the moment we've got seven guest suites all together, as you've seen some of them. And uh, so we aim with the new ones to be about a 10 or 11 guest suite for a butterscotch. Thank you. 